don't want to do good, Mom. I do. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. I know I've been away for a while, but I'm going to uh, stop uploading more consistently now. Uh, this is going to be the review for Brightburn. Brightburn came out a few days ago. I saw it a few days ago when it came out on Thursday night in theaters. It's from James Gunn. I believe we're all familiar with him. He did the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Everyone knows those. how amazing those are, how well received, and how big of the fan base has gotten since he brought it from the obscurity that it was from comic books to the big mainstream hit that it is now with the movies. Uh, in this movie, this basically is like an alternate take on Superman. So instead of Clark Kent coming to Earth and helping mankind, uh, Clark Kent comes to Earth and he is against mankind. Uh, his name isn't Clark Kenton here. His name is Brandon Briers. The movie stars Eliz Elizabeth Banks, David Denman, Jackson A. Dunn, Matt Jones, and Meredith Hagner. Basically, in the movie, we have uh, a more... Essentially, it's just an alien crash lands on Earth. And he. this alien is Brandon Briers. He grows up to learn that he has superpowers. Um, the other section of the movie revolves around the two parents who are portrayed by uh, Miss Elizabeth Banks and David Denman, the Briars, they are trying to, they're in the process of trying to have a child and it seems that they're having multiple, fail, multiple failed attempts at this. So they, when this thing, when this event occurs and it crash lands like right outside their farm, they take the child in after investigating and discovering what was inside it and they look upon it as a blessing from from god they take it in as its own they they uh, officially adopt it they hide the spacecraft that it came in uh, they do everything they can just to make the child that came in this spaceship for not knowing anything about where he actually came from they tell him that he was adopted from an agency uh etc i'm not going to get into too many spoilers outside of that the film as a whole, for an alternate take on Superman and showing Superman as this supervillain, I think this has a lot of potential to spark a great universe. Uh, I thought I did like this movie, but I just thought it was missing a lot. So there was really no character development as far as like everyone outside of Brandon went. And maybe that's that's not to say that that's a detractor. Maybe maybe that wasn't the point. Maybe the whole point of the movie was to just focus on Brandon. Uh, there's there's just something i feel that it was missing i don't feel like it was enough the ending is kind of abrupt it's a good ending but it just feels like it feels like it could have gone on longer that's that's all i'm saying it's not a bad movie whatsoever it just feels like they could have added in a few more things uh some of the dialogue in it is a bit cheesy and comical brandon briars who or the character of brandon briars he's absolutely terrifying uh I think uh, Jackson A. Dunn, yeah, Jackson, Mr. Dunn, your performance is uh, Brandon, absolutely phenomenal, especially for a child actor. The actors in the movie, I want to say the standout had to be Jackson Dunn and Elizabeth Banks. Uh, everyone else was kind of just subpar at best. No bad acting, no bad performances, just subpar acting with uh, two major standouts among the among the crowd i think the direction was good the cinematography looked amazing the score accompanying the movie and some of the sequences where we finally see brandon in action and the gore the gore fest that we get later on in the movie i thought that was amazing uh, i just really think this has the potential to spark a good universe of films where we have alternate takes on superheroes that are evil and instead of helping us they are against us because essentially you have to think about it like this in the other films where superman and batman and all the other superpower upper higher beings that are helping humans they're on our side this is kind of what it would be like if they were against us because we can't beat them we're lucky to have them on our side so it's nice to have a universe where we get to see what it could potentially be like if they were against us because they are essentially in more ways than one higher gods they're we're beneath them they have more powers than us they're able to do things that we can't do because we are human and they are not I'm looking forward to seeing if they do a sequel with this. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot there's a lot left on the table here with this. Brightburn, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a I'm gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10. Really liked it. Thought it was well done for what it was. Uh, James Gunn, I hope you have more influence on the sequel. I hope he is just full on with this sequel. Cause he I know he only produced this one, but I hope he has more of a say in the uh, sequel if there is one.
if you guys have seen Brightburn, let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section below. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you turn on post notifications. I mean, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.